Welcome back to my channel today. We're gonna be trying a new eyeshadow primer and this is not essentially new It's been out for a little while, but it's new to me and this is from the band called about face And this is the shadow fix eye primer and it's for $13 and supposed to be really lightweight really easy to apply on It's supposed to enhance the vibrancy of our eyeshadow. It's supposed to avoid any fading creasing It's supposed to just make our eye look really long wearing and it's also vegan which you guys know I personally love so as you can tell I haven't finished getting ready so we're gonna go ahead and jump on in try this out we're gonna see does it actually enhance the vibrancy to our pigmentation to the eyeshadows that we're gonna apply on and does it actually help blend out the eyeshadow really nicely as well and essentially is this actually worth picking up for the $13 so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video everything I use will be linked down below in the description box please don't forget to like share and subscribe for my videos just like this one and let's jump on in and try this out really quickly we're gonna go over the packaging because this is something that I always do <laughs> and this is basically you guys it's really simple to the point there isn't much to it so don't worry this is not gonna take too long but basically I just learned that this is made in the US it's also vegan like I mentioned you guys before and then on the back of packaging it mentions it's supposed to be smoothing let me tell you the formula swatching the back of my hand it felt like butter like so smooth the consistency it feels like super hydrating but it feels like almost like a matte finish like now that I rubbed it it basically disappeared when you first look at it it does look like there's like a slight little tint to it well let me show you really quickly I'll do a quick swatch just kind of like a little tint to it but I feel like once you blend it out it will disappear and you can obviously always apply on a little bit of eyeshadow in case maybe you applied on too much and there's kind of like little pigment left over so that is the only thing but as a for a scent it doesn't have a scent at all, which I'm honestly not surprised. Typically, vegan products, I'm starting to learn, they typically don't smell like anything. But it does have a really nice doe foot applicator, which I guys know I personally really love. I just feel like it's spongy. It picks up enough product. You can easily apply it on directly on your lids. There are so many ways you can literally apply on eyeshadow primer. You can apply it on directly and then use your finger to apply it on and blend it out. You can go in with a brush. I sometimes like to go in and apply it on and then go over with like a little beauty sponge. There's so many different ways that you can do it so it's just personal preference but so far I really like the formula it feels really really nice and moisturizing and really smoothing which I feel like it's gonna give us a really nice flawless finish and it also does feel lightweight like it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel sticky but it just feels really smoothing so I feel like it's gonna give us like a really nice like flawless canvas on our skin so we're gonna go ahead and jump on in and apply on this eyeshadow primer but I do want to mention that I am gonna apply on this eyeshadow primer on the right side of my eye and not apply anything on the left just because I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison with and without the eyeshadow primer and just see if we actually notice a difference in the vibrancy and the blendability of the eyeshadow. So I just want to give you a quick run through just so you guys know my game plan for today's video. So in the next clip, you're going to see the camera a little bit closer to my face so you guys can get a better view of everything that I'll be doing and getting ready for the day. All right, you guys, I have moved the camera a little bit closer to my face. Let's go ahead and dive on in and apply on this eyeshadow primer finally. <laughs> I'm going to go in and apply on the primer directly on the lid. And then I'm going to go in with my Luxie 209 large shader brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and pat the product all around and try to apply it on as evenly as possible just because I don't want a weird application. So I just finished applying on this eyeshadow primer and it's looking a little patchy. I'm not sure how it's going to look on camera, but it's looking kind of patchy and I'm a little worried that once I apply on my eyeshadow, it's going to look a little off, but I'm hoping that once I apply on an eyeshadow base, start kind of blending everything out, it's not going to look weird. So I'm hoping for the best. It does mention on their website to give it about 20 to 30 seconds for the formula to dry down before you apply on eyeshadow. So I feel like it's already been about 30 seconds. So we're going to go ahead and dive on in. I'm going to use the LA Girl Sunkissed Glow or Sunkissed Palette that recently launched. And I'm going to go into McCrane. I'm going to pick up a little bit of eyeshadow and apply it all around the lid. Finish applying on my crane on the right lid and basically it applied on so nicely evenly I didn't have any issues at all it's not looking patchy like I would thought it was going to look and by the way if I have like a little pink spot on my lid kind of like the brow area it's a little pimple <laughs> that I just magically appeared today but I still wanted to film this video so I figured you know what let's just do our best if it's looking a little you know it's looking a little numpy just leave it alone it's just it's gonna be gone by the next video <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and apply on at McCray now on at the left lid using the same brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it all around the lid 
And let me tell you, on the right eye, it's definitely looking way more pigmented, way more vibrant than the left side. And let me tell you, I try to do my best to layer on the eyeshadow on the left eye just to kind of like match the other side of my face. So this is basically, guys, everything has blended really nicely. And I'm gonna go into Explore, that really beautiful caramel brown, and I'm gonna go in with a blending brush. This one is from Firma Beauty, and I'm just gonna go and apply it within the crease of the lid doing windshield wiper motions. I just finished applying on Explore within the crease of the lid, and let me tell you, I feel like the outer edges blend out so much nicer on the left side of my face more so than the right side, and so basically I feel like the left side looks a little bit more vibrant than the right for some reason. I'll see once I'm editing this video, maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know. Comment down below what do you guys think so far. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go in with my Firma Beauty blending brush, pick up a little bit of Free Spirit, that really beautiful orangey shadow, and I'm just going to go and apply it on the outer edge just really, really lightly just to make sure I'm blending out the edges. Moving on to Constellation, I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics shader brush, and I'm just going to go and apply and build the pigmentation and apply the shadow within the inner and outer corners of the eye just to give it a little bit more warmth now for the center of the lid i'm gonna go ahead and go into golden glow that really beautiful like coppery shadow i really love the shimmer effect that it gives so i'm just gonna go and apply it on the center of the lid using my ring finger so now we're gonna move on to smoking out the bottom lash line i'm just gonna go ahead and apply on explorer and i'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out connecting it to the corner of the eye and then going back to free people, I'm just going to go ahead and blend out the edges with whatever was left over. All right, you guys, this is basically it. I have finished getting ready. And by the way, I'll have everything that I used linked down below in the description box. But this is the eye look. I'll do an up close clip so you can get a better view of how the eye look turned out. But to be honest, I do notice slight differences from one side to the other. The shimmery shades that I've applied in the center of the lid on the right side, it definitely looks more shimmery. On the right side of my eye, I feel like everything blended out really nicely. After I've applied it on Free Spirit, I feel like it kind of saved the crazy outer edges that I feel like Explore kind of left. I'm not sure how it's gonna look on camera, but at least in person I feel like Explore just alone looked kind of kind of patchy. <laughs> so that is the only thing. And on the left side of my eye, I just feel like I had a little bit of issues in the corner of the eye for some reason. It was blending out kind of patchy. I did my best to try to save the look, but overall I feel like my makeup turned out really nicely. I don't really feel like there's such a crazy difference. I just feel like you can kind of tell, but it doesn't look bad. But in a way, you know, my eye makeup turned out really nicely and I feel like it's okay. But comment down below your thoughts. I'd love to know. I can't wait to edit this video so I can kind of see for myself and kind of really analyze like, you know, how it's currently looking. But for $13, is it worth it? You know, it's not my most favorite eyeshadow primer. I'm not a huge fan that it kind of dries down kind of patchy, especially if you're not careful in blending out this product. So that is the only thing. I do like the price point. I like the Dofa applicator. I love the fact that it's really lightweight. It didn't dry down too quickly, so I personally really like that. It definitely feels moisturizing. It didn't feel tacky and sticky on the lids, and it doesn't have like a weird scent to it, which is always a big plus. But so far, I'm not entirely impressed. I've and say go run and get it. Stay tuned for one of my monthly even fails because I'll continue testing this out so I can get a better feel for this eyeshadow primer. But overall, I feel like it's okay. Is it the best that I've ever tried? No, but it is it the worst? No, I've tried worse for sure. <laughs> but this is basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, comment down below. Ask away. I'm always here to help. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any video ideas, comment down below. Ask away. I'm always looking for video ideas as well. But this is basically it, guys. I love you all so, so much. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you all in my next video.